into the chemistry behind cosmetology. In today's lesson, we will demonstrate how to properly saturate the hair. We will demonstrate how to properly perform a test curl. And we will demonstrate how to properly remove the rods after a permanent wave service. I am your educator, Bryce Harrell. I'm looking forward to having some fun with you today. Let's begin. To begin, let's practice infection and disease control practices. We do so by sanitizing our hands, placing protective gloves on our hands, and then taking protective barrier cream and placing around the entire hairline of our client. As an added precaution, we're gonna use cotton coil, which is a reinforced cotton that's gonna protect our client as we are placing the solution on our client by wrapping panels two and three. After we have positioned our client backwards, we're gonna now practice saturation, which is our technical skill. You're gonna apply your printer wave solution on top of the rod, then you're gonna lift the rod up to place the permanent wave solution underneath. This helps to ensure that all the rods are saturated. Continue to position your client forward at this point. And now let's still begin and practice how to saturate our permanent wave solution. Now, let's take go to the nape area and we're gonna use a towel to brace underneath the rod to continue saturation. This helps to aid in client protection. Now, the proctor will ask you to demonstrate a test curl. To demonstrate a test curl, unfasten the rod and unwind the curl about one to two turns of the rod. Do not allow the hair to become loose or completely unwound. Gently move the rod toward the scalp to encourage the hair to fall loosely into the wave pattern. Once complete, refasten and step back. Once the test curl is complete, the proctor will ask you to please remove one rod from the hair. To remove a rod from the hair, unfasten the rod and unwind the curl. Once you reach the end paper, brace the end and finish completely unwinding the rod and place the rod in the to be disinfected bag system and place the end paper and protective gloves in the trash bag system and step back.